project development life cycle so logical breakdown of what you need to do to produce the project deliverables now if you are developing one of the car right you are developing one of the car then you are breaking down what you need to do okay what you need to do to produce this car i need to do planning designing developing this is all what what we have to write so for planning designing developing testing how will you do that that is what you are going to use in this project development life cycle here you can see one of the development project life cycle is predictive development life cycle it also known as plan driven means there should be upfront planning or also called waterfall method so this one of the development life cycle you may use for developing your project uh, for developing your car right other case you may use iterative development life cycle to develop your car other case you may use incremental development life cycle to develop your car and at last you can use hybrid development life cycle means it is a combination of predictive and the agile so like half of the like designing or planning you may use uh, predictive and for testing or for execution you may use one of the Uh, development life cycle incremental and or iterative so that is what we determine based on how much how clear how complete requirements you have in your hand so let's see this all one by one in details here you see predictive life cycle a more traditional approach bulk of planning bulk of planning up front then executing in a single pass predictive as name suggests everything is planned up front you predict how much cost will be going to take to complete this car development how much time will be going to take to complete this project you are predicting based on the data requirements you have and it is a sequential process unless you complete this phase you cannot go in design phase it is a sequential process and that is why it is also known as waterfall method waterfall method waterfall method unless you complete this one you will not go there unless you complete this one you will not go there so that is what predictive approach any changes related to scope manage carefully if you have done the analysis and now someone who is coming that there is some changes or you have done design and now someone is coming that there is change that is very difficult to have the spend lots in terms of time in terms of resources to complete the planning now your client is coming with another new requirements so if he had to change then why he did not inform you in the beginning and why he did not uh, inform you or uh, told you that no we have this is this is the complete requirements or it is incomplete requirement and we might give you changes in the in the, in the as project will pass so in that case you should be not using it you could have been uh, use another development approach but because they have said that total requirements we have and based on that you were using it so that is what traditional approach that is what predictive approach that is what waterfall approach now let's say another development approach here is iterative life cycle Project scope generally determined early in the project life cycle. Project requirement, project scope. This as discussed the car development. 
So the scope, the overall activities that will be done to develop a car, we will be having in the beginning. We will be having the scope of the project that we are going to make the car and that we will be having in the beginning. We will determine the scope of the project in the project life cycle beginning and schedule and cost estimate are continually modified at the final product service or result of the project becomes clear. Now, here we have to understand talking about the schedule and cost. So there are three constraints in the project normally triangle there are triangle and a triangle concept like scope cost and schedule okay scope cost and schedule so here a scope you have to determine early in this development if you are using this development life cycle what it is saying schedule and cost this cost and schedule will keep changing will keep refining uh, continually modified at the final product service or results of the project. Why? Because the scope was clear, determined, but how many times it has been refined based on the feedback from the client? If it has refined many times, definitely it will impact cost and of course the time. And that is why it is written that when project becomes clear you will be getting clear cost and time that how much cost it has been incurred and how much time it has taken for example here see approach that allows feedback for unfinished work to improve and modify that work this approach basically giving you opportunity as a if you are client it's give you opportunity to review the product and give the feedback Unlike the predictive approach, in the predictive, you do not get chance to review the ongoing activity. You will be seeing your car in the project, in between how color is going, how it has been creating. You may see, but you, as per the, as per the plan, you should be not changing the scope. If you want to change, there is a robust planning. Is robust structure processes that has to be followed. Here, let's see from the diagram how your car is developing here. Your car development project. First, you are analyzing the project as well. Then you are analyzing, and after that, you are designing. Once you analyze and design the car as a prototype you are giving to the client okay this is the prototype of your car see it and if you have any feedback give us so that we can incorporate it you will keep creating prototype based on his feedback okay and then if you will do the final prototype here and then you move to design final product. You move to build final product. You are building the product. And you are getting feedback. And based on that, you are refining the car. You are getting feedback. Based on that, you are refining the requirements. Okay. Customer came and said, car, paint is not looks good or maybe thicker paint or maybe it should be shining more okay or maybe color should be changed there should be other variant right so again you are refining maybe you have done the color over the color you are putting another color you are refining you are correcting the finding the product until it will be uh, fully satisfied stakeholder requirements once it will fully satisfy you will be delivering the car here. So it is iterative life cycle which help you or help the customer to incorporate the feedback on frequent basis and based on that you keep refining until it fully develops. 
as per the customer requirement. We have another incremental life cycle. Deliverable is produced through a series of iterations, series of iterations that successively add functionality with a predetermined time frame. During each iteration, new functionality is introduced and the deliverable is considered complete after the final iteration is finished. An incremental development life cycle at best when a speed of delivery is necessary and provide finished deliverable that the customer may be able to use immediately. Now, here you can see one thing, series of iteration. Now, this is your project life cycle, okay? This is your project life cycle. For example, here it is showing three iteration. This is one of the iteration. This is second iteration. This is third iteration. In each iteration, what we do generally? We do analyze, then design, then we build, then we test, and then we deliver. That is what we did in the last slides. So where what we did in the incremental, we analyze, we design, and then we refine, 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 test, test, and finally we deliver. And we deliver at once. We deliver at once here. Okay. But here, what we are doing? We have divided one product car because this person, whoever you're buying this, this person is to keep car fully function. I need something in next one more so that i can use it i can launch it you see here speed of delivery if something in need on urgent basis so what you are giving here producing here by using one of the iteration here you are producing let's say one of the cycle in second iteration you are producing motorcycle and finally, here you are producing a car. So he did not wait up to, to get the car. He used the cycle up to this development. Once this has developed, this another MVP, and that is what we discussed earlier, MVP. So here they are producing the MVP. So here motorcycle is the MVP. And he has, this client got motorcycle in the second iteration and uh, he is using this motorcycle for the saving or for the, you know, for the user purpose or for his own use until he gets the car so, it, so this is for incremental life cycle this is example as like this is called the mona lisa painting so here how mona lisa painting has been develop by using the increase uh, iterative life cycle and how this mona lisa painting is developed by using incremental development life cycle it will give you more clarity here in the uh, iterative what do we do generally we are a sketching that is a prototyping of the scope right once prototype we shared with the client and we got the feedback, we move to the next phase where we sketch it. You see here, complete picture has been sketched here. Complete picture has been sketched here without any painting. Now, here we also got feedback from the client that how it is, is there any change you want? He will say, okay, change, or maybe give color, or maybe make some head uh, left or right side or maybe i need this folded head hand open hand whatever he is required he may give you feedback then as per his feedback you are refining it and then you are moving finally here and here what you did you putting a layer of paint on complete picture okay See here, up to here, you have not delivered anything to a client. 
here also you have not delivered anything in the client let's say it is a six month project six month project you have not delivered only you are getting feedback and based on that you are refining the product refining the picture of mona lisa finally after getting feedback you are here putting final layer and that is what the final product of this project and you are handing over to the clients so that is what you do to the project by using the iterative life cycle you deliver the product in the, the project however you take the feedback in the project and based on that you refine and finally you deliver the final product to the customer in the incremental life cycle you deliver the product incrementally here why you are using incremental life cycle because your customer is saying i need this product urgently and i cannot wait up to the 6 month up to the 6 month i cannot wait so that is the reason you are not using this iterative life cycle because your customer is not waiting for 6 month he need mvp he need minimal viable product that can he use or that he can launch in the market so other people can buy it so what you did you just develop the head portion completely fully you develop the head portion and you give it to the your client okay okay take it and he is happily took this head portion and put it in his office or home where he can see the face completely developed now here on other portion you have started working on this you have already developed now other portion you are not working whole product at the same time like here you see you have put the layer complete layer on whole pro, uh, picture you are putting selecting one of the part of the product part of the product and then you are developing it you develop this one you didn't develop this portion and finally since you have developed this one and this one has been developed this portion you develop at last and finally this product is ready and you are delivering to the client so that is the difference in the iterative life cycle and incremental life cycle here there is a hybrid life cycle this is the combination of both so here you can see combination of productive and other and those elements of the project that are well known or have fixed requirements follow a predictive development life cycle and those elements that are still evolving follow adaptive development life cycle if there is any requirements that may be changing for that portion you may using as i and if there is any requirement for any phase if it is very clear then you can use the predictive approach so one project you will be developing by using both development here you can see in the short predictive approach why we use it the requirements is fixed in the predictive and it uh, activity is performed once for the entire project as you remember sequence we completed and at last we delivered the product in the predictive you see here single delivery we do not give like mvp we provide the produce the single delivery and what is the goal of this predictive approach why we use predictive approach the goal is to use the predictive approach to manage the Because there should be no any change in between the project, so that we can manage whatever we have planned the budget. In that budget, we will complete the project. Then there is iterative development life cycle. If you are using, so you are using when your changes is dynamic, evolving. Okay, and then you will repeating it until it will be correct. And also you will keep doing, but you will here delivery a single delivery. and what is the goal of this correctness you will keep getting feedback and refine it refine it, refine it and that is the reason 
the user goal is means for acting the product and incremental where you deliver the mvp so dynamic also when you project requirement is keep changing and perform once for a given increment it is performed for one particular increment okay and then here different a smaller deliverables here you can give one deliverable then here you give one other deliverables like we discussed in the previous slides and the goal of this to use incremental when something is urgently required when you need faster okay you want to launch in the market and agile when your project requirement also keep changing and it is uh, repeated until the correct you will keep getting feedback and correcting it and frequently a small deliverable you are giving and for customer value via frequent deliveries and feedback so these are the goals behind each and every project